Hey guys, I hope you had a really great weekend. So last week was really wild. It was it had so much going on in it that I just had to go watch my own videos from last week to get a refresher on what happened. So I'm gonna try and remember um, as many of the details as I can without making this too long. But last week we opened with a gap up. We closed the previous week underneath the neckline of the head and shoulders, and then we gapped up and had a pretty solid green day on Monday. And then Tuesday, we gapped back down to fill that opening uh, gap about halfway. Then we came back up and made a run for the hawkish fed gap, which is... Um, that is the gap that we still have a bit open and that was from FOMC in September where Powell spoke and brought down the market and then the following day we gapped down and that level has been a fierce resistance for the past two weeks. So another uh, attempt to try and get in there but this time we really got smacked out of it and then pushed down. We broke below the one hour 200 moving average and then we got back to the head and shoulders uh, neckline there. And from there, the rest of the week, this is actually right here where um, Chair Powell spoke again and actually that solidified the neckline as a resistance. And um, as soon as we got rejected there, we came down all the way to the 200 day moving average and so actually Thursday we closed right here Friday we dropped to the 200 day moving average and you could see a small technical bounce and finally a close underneath the 200 day moving average which was a pretty strong statement and it's gonna be pretty interesting to have that level to the upside tomorrow and not to mention that we have a ton of earnings this week. So Friday we did close down 1.23%, VIX came up 1.4% and we did close just outside of the implied move. All right, that's the best I got for last week's recap. Let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move is between 416 and 426 and that is from options and the 30 day average volatility is exactly the same and to the upside the first level is the 200 day moving average and that is a huge huge level. I would say that in tomorrow's range, the only level that will probably be in focus is the 200 day moving average. Above that, we don't actually have anything in tomorrow's trading range. Uh, week 426 is the implied move. And then outside of that, the next level is going to be the 30 minute 200 moving average. And then to the downside, we do have a support right here at 420 and that is also quite a big psychological level. And that level is where we saw a bounce off of the um, 200 day moving average. It was a technical bounce. We also have a downtrend support. It's the bottom of the downtrend channel. I'm not sure why it's not showing up on this time frame, but as soon as I switch back, you'll be able to see it. The, so it was a technical bounce between the 200 day moving average and this downtrend right here. 420 is that level. And then outside of that, we don't have anything within the bottom side of the implied move. 416 is the bottom of the implied move. And then we have the next level is a gap that goes back to May and that goes back to where, hold on. That goes back to where we finally broke out of some sideways trading, but we had 
um, at 415 level here and 411 we had um, a couple up gaps and then so it's showing up here the downtrend the channel downtrend here but then we also have an uptrend support coming up too so really interesting level to the downside that uptrend is um, again not showing up in the one day I'll fix that later but let's go find it there it is it is from the October lows then we bounced off of that in March and then that is the level right here around 413 so there you have it not too much directly in tomorrow's trading range but we do have the huge 200 day moving average that is definitely what i will be watching that's probably what everybody is going to be watching and we do have a ton of earnings um tuesday really the big earnings start on tuesday where we have google coca-cola microsoft and visa wednesday we have meta reporting Thursday, we have Amazon, American Airlines, Merck, UPS, and um, Friday, we have AbV and Colgate Palmolive. So super jam-packed with earnings, and I guarantee you this 200-day moving average is going to be what everybody is watching as well. So there you have it relatively simple trading range for tomorrow have fun trade safe make sure you take profits when you're up and i will see you guys tomorrow night